Ahem. Ahem. Okay, there it is. The mic wasn't responding. For a second, I became worried. Ladies and gentlemen, I should just readjust this very slightly. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends, me on the binary hill, and welcome. It's me, your girl Christy, uh, on the Monday, and uh, in continuing with our uh, one-offs in January, I'm going to play some Hard Space Shipbreaker. Should this all be... I hadn't really thought about, like, a, a plan for it. Should it all be stuff that I've played before and kind of want to come back to? Because I did uh, PUBG last week, and that was an experience. I don't think I would want to repeat it. Um, but it was an experience, and I've definitely done Hard Space uh, before. Maybe that's gonna be the thing. Maybe I'll I'll find some some other things to dig out of the uh, of the vault and uh, give another shot to. Uh, but for right now, we're playing Hard Space, and like I said, I played this a while ago, and uh, when it first got like released onto early access, and uh, they've uh, they've done a lot to it. They've had a lot of updates between now and then, and. One of the things that the updates did was delete my save, apparently. Uh, which is fine. Uh, as assholes say, every problem is an opportunity in disguise. And the opportunity that we have here is to show you some of the, like, early world building. Which I didn't get to last time, because I was, like, pretty deep in. Let's hit the button so that my hard space shipbreaker show up. Because um, while I really tend to enjoy... Oh, God, please let me close the video for 20 Minutes of Oxygen by Darkest of the Hillside Thickets. Because that's that, that video is paused on a like frame of a, a man suffocating in a spacesuit. Um, that's not a fun thing to look over and see. So, um... I'm sure I was saying something. Oh, right. Uh, so I like task-based simulators like this, like um, like PC Building Sim or House Flipper or stuff like that. Um, but I really, really like... Uh, oh, God, what is it called? Why isn't it coming to me? Vista Cleanup Detail? Because I forgot to change the... Capture to this, huh? I think I did. Yeah, you can hear it, but you can't see it. Let me let me grab that real quick. Um, <clears throat> so this are cleanup detail I like very much because <clears throat> it is also a series of tasks, but it has really interesting world building that surrounds it. Like the actual thing you're doing is rather tedious, but the 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 notes that come in and the your feelings about the company you work for uh, are really interesting and provide a, a real life to what would otherwise just be, hey, go here and do some stuff. And uh, Hard Space Shipbreaker is pretty much like that. It's, uh... Ah, okay, that's fine. In, like, in addition to just sort of being, like, fun for me to to do the tasks and cut up the ships, which is what you do in Hard Space Shipbreaker, if you've not seen it before. Uh, you're a salvager here on this big hexagon, and you are tasked with taking a, a ship that is to be salvaged, cutting it into little pieces and throwing it into, uh, into little monetizable chunks and throwing it in various incinerators. So, we're just going to go into standard and do the tutorial. Humankind has industrialized much of the solar system. Earth has deteriorated into a place of squalor and decay. In orbit, a new breed of worker has emerged. The Shipbreaker. The labor is extremely dangerous, but for a select few, the hazard pay is worth the risk.
Yeah, that's right. Slice it, dice it, chop it into little tiny pieces and feed it to the birds. We have a terrible little apartment. Paved the way to the galaxy program. New update. Congratulations on acceptance into the Lynx Paved the Way the Galaxy program. From over 124.8 million applicants, you were chosen based on above average and exceptional physical and cognitive ability. Participation in this program can be lucrative and rewarding depending on a willingness to follow the vision and processes of Lynx Corporation. You have been assigned to salvage station number 42, designation Morrigan. The station currently has no additional personnel, but if you are able to demonstrate the ability to build and grow a profitable operation, a number of exciting opportunities await you. Remember, employment in the Pave the Way to the Galaxy program is at the sole discretion of Lynx Corporation and can be revoked at any time. Acts of insubordination or malice will not be tolerated. On receipt of your electronic signature, a shuttle will be deployed immediately to your current location to deliver you to your post. Training will commence immediately on arrival. Finalize your info on the following pages to confirm employment. Link's work effort tracking and employee social hub TM require employee account name. Please enter an account name below. Profanity or anti-corporate slang and jargon is not accepted. Oh boy. anti links. Uh, selected repeatal ta retrieval package. We offer our EverWork TM SS asset replacement program to new employees. Below are details of your selected spare packages. Karen Health Board Advisory. Cloning has a 0 0.02 chance of DNA corruption. Oh, you uh, just let me go with fuckboy antilinks, huh? Can I back up? <laughs> Yo, dog. <laughs> hey, I didn't mean to do that. I should have added 69 to it. To verify your identity, confirm the voice files submitted in your original application. This is one of the best things I remember about the original. Or not the original, but when I was playing it and creating my, my profile initially. So they have four voice clips, and you choose one of them. And that will be sort of what chooses what your, your breathing and uh, effort sound effects sound like in game. So there's this one. Sort of a generic dude voice, there's this one. Some more femme voice. Over here we have this one. Another sort of... Uh, Another sort of voice, and then there's this one. Oh. One of them was used to be a dog. I can't believe they took away the dog. I'm sorry? I'm being told the dog was a different game, but I don't remember that being the case. Journey to the Savage Planet, right. That had a dog. Right, okay, never mind. Uh, orientation preferences, I'm very gay, thank you. Uh, meal preference, our food processors can serve a variety of dietary preferences. Food cost is based on current market value and may change over time. I can have chicken, I can have my food be plastic free, vegetarian, or entomotarian. Uh, which I think means there's no Minotaur in it. Uh, I'm gonna choose Plastic Free. I think I have a plastics allergy. Uh, I have no criminal record in the Terran or Martian zones. A record in the Jovian Frontier is acceptable. Okay. I am not a member of and have never associated with a workers' union or other labor interest. I wonder if this game is political. I have completed my annual medical exam and have been cleared of having McCullough's lung. Sure. I don't even know what that is. I have no commercial... This is how I fill out, uh... This is how I fill out online forms in real life, also. I just sort of read it out loud, dismiss the question at its base, and then continue. I have no commercial or real estate interests on Luna in the asteroid belt or the nation state of Arizona. Dog 
look at where I live. I will bring a positive attitude and problem-solving mindset to work every day. Uh, yeah, sure, dog. I understand and accept the health risks associated with long-term exposure to a Vandervals field. I don't, but I think I don't care. I will vote for Chancellor Chun Zhang in the Pan-American Senate election. That's probably not legal, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, this agreement is made on the 9th day of November 2329 between Lynx Corporation, Department of Salvage and Reclamation Incorporated under the laws of Solar System of the Lynx and myself. Employee grants permission to Lynx to collect, analyze, and utilize biometric data. Permission to perform psychological tests at any time without knowledge. Permission to garnish wages of actions result in potential losses for the company. Permission in perpetuity, record and own DNA and to create new entities with that DNA with no restrictions or limits. I mean, sure. Uh, authority to study, manipulate, reciprocate, and duplicate any and all of my gray and white matter at any time. Uh, permission to transfer any and all unpaid debts owed to links to my next of kin in the event that I am terminated, disappear, or perma perish. Uh, right to terminate this contract at any time without notice or payment in lieu with no requirements of sufficient cause. Sure. This is like in Kingmaker when I named my kingdom Chard Change later in the game. Nice. Yeah, they sort of have to have permission to clone me because that's how I, uh... Uh, I, I didn't die a lot in my initial play of Hard Space Shipbreaker. Um, but that's the... Each day he steps into the yard. That's the, uh, uh, framing device for... His wages working hard. Things going very, very bad. I'm, I'm gonna let that game go for I pray to the stars and heaven above. To return my daddy to those he loves. If there comes a time when he and death meet. Bless the next cutter that takes his seat. Cutter 9346-52, your automated Lynx onboarding experience will now begin. Please observe this important message. Space, boundless promise, limitless resources, a brighter future. It's here that hard workers like you, the backbone of civilization, will help us pave the way to the galaxy. I'm Calicia Rye Paulson. President of Lynx Corporation Salvage Division. When my great-great-grandfather, Exeter, founded Lynx, he foresaw a remarkable opportunity among the stars. His vision eventually brought us the rail gate. Now, spanning all the way to Jupiter, these are the veins connecting all of modern civilization. And the people flowing through them are its lifeblood. The rail gates reinvigorated humanity and are key to our continued progress. You have been selected from among thousands of candidates to join the Lynx family. This is more than just a job. It's an opportunity to be part of the largest, most successful, and most pioneering company in human history. Your dream may be to forge your own destiny one day. Well, Work hard, 
Heed your superiors. Believe in the Lynx vision. Do this, and you too will get your chance. Your first step is to join our EverWork program. The greatest gift we give our employees, turning death into an ongoing opportunity for learning and growth. With Lynx, death is a fresh start. Good luck. Yes, I want a fresh start. Press to begin genetic extraction. Video observation complete. To finalize onboarding, your genetic sequence will now be extracted for use with the Lynx Everwork Asset Replacement Program. Uh, Don't worry, pain levels during extraction are largely tolerable. Ah. Please note, as outlined in Section 31 of your employment agreement, the process of genetic extraction will destroy your original body. Beginning extraction now. What was that first part? <laughs> so this is new. Analysis and backup. Thank you. Beginning fair generation. Everwork asset replacement successful. Genetic sequence stored. Congratulations, it is now safe to die, asterisk. Shipbreakers are responsible for the cost of buying materials used in the Everwork process. An additional fee is required for deaths that occur outside working hours. You may now proceed with salvage training. Good luck. So, most of that was stuff that they've added in since I played it initially. It sure does. It sure does add on to the experience. Oh, and we begin with fees. You'll, uh... You'll notice this is a large number. That's, uh, well, let's see, that's hundreds, that's thousands, that's millions, so we are currently 1,252,594,441.92 in debt. Um, a part of me, uh, just wants to say that inflation got a little out of hand, but I, I think we're just sort of, uh, boned. That doesn't seem ethical. I mean... It's better than eating ramen every day. You know, you, got, you gotta... You gotta make some... You gotta make some compromises to survive. Here in the benighted world of 2325. I think I got that number wrong. Everything's gonna be just fine. Alright. There you go. Uh, just one moment, I'm gonna get into the options and, uh, tank some of these video... Uh... Some of these video things. To help it run just a little bit smoother. Save your changes? Yes, please, to save changes. Please to save changes. I don't dislike ramen, I just don't want to eat it every day, you know? Many of folks feel a bit woozy with their first spare. Anyway, welcome aboard. Okay. The name's Weaver. I'm the foreman for yourself and a couple of the other shipbreakers in this region. Uh, so, real quick, actually, before we get into this. Uh, I have the CW at the bottom. Uh, we are going to be maneuvering in first person in space. I will be doing my best to keep the camera from swinging wildly, but we might do, you know, we might perform a barrel roll at some point, and the camera is going to, to be spinning. So, um, 
Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do Madamdas. Actually, is there a, a FOV option that I missed? Have a field of view. Let's make the subtitle size very large. Uh, field of view. Roll sensitivity, mouse sensitivity, controller sensitivity. Here? No. Okay, there's not a field of view. This here's Morgan Station. She may not look like much right now, but once we boot her up, she'll purr like a kid. All right. All right. Let's test out your orientation control. Do me a favor and look up at that cargo elevator up above. That's it. So that's where all the salvage gets collected to be picked up by the transfer crew. Just in case you ever Seems turn big. yourself out of whack, use your roll thrusters to reorient. Uh, we press Q and E to roll a little bit to the left. Roll a little bit back to the right. All right. Now let's get you flying. Activating your thruster controls now. Try moving around. Okay. Now, vertical control. Okay. Ascend. And descend. Uh-huh. Looks good. Now to finalize these movement checks, I need you to fly to these waypoints. Okay. Just gonna slide right into this GM. Used to be a cutter myself, you know. Till there were some uh, complications with my last revive. <laughs> Those were early days in the tech, though, so never you mind about that. Oh, almost forgot about the most important thing. Brakes. Get yourself going at a decent clip, and then test them out, why don't you? Sliding into the thing? Yeah, I felt bad about saying it. Alright, looks like the bay here was left in a bit of a mess. We're going to clean this scrap up. Going to activate okay. the furnaces. Now. Ah, uh, dang thing. Would you just... There you go. Oops, can so I... These furnaces are used spit. to melt go. down soft metals. Should go without saying that these things are as hot as all get out. So try not to drift into them by accident. Okay, let's get a handle on your grapple tool. This fella here is a shipbreaker's bread and butter. This is how we move salvage around. Activate the beam and hold it to grab an object and move it around, if it's not too heavy. Give it a go and move one of these pieces into either furnace. So when you're holding an object with the grapple, you can retract the beam. This will pull a light object to you. If it's heavier than you, ow, it'll pull ow, you ow, towards ow, it. Ow. Nice job cleaning up that soft metal scrap cutter. Uh, let's move on to the bigger nano carbon chunks now, shall we? No, I'm just gonna. You may have already noticed that these this are too quick. heavy to move with your grapple. I'm enabling your scanner so we can check out their structural makeup. Go ahead and boot it up. This okay. mode of your scanner lets you assess an object's structure. What I want you to focus on right now are these cut points. You have quick access to all your tools through your HUD. Just open up the tool selector and choose the cutting tool. All right. Control is giving me the go-ahead to get you cutting. Your cutting tool has two modes. The first one is the stinger. It's designed for precision vaporization of cut points like this. You ready to perform some zero-g surgery, Cutter? Oh yeah. Well, let's split this scrap so it's light enough to move. Out of range. Out of range. In range. Oop. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Hmm. 
Ah, okay, there it goes. That's how you do it. Okay, let me boot up the processor so you can salvage these. It's, uh... Do me a favor and look sort of not liking the particles. So I can see if they activate right. Yeah, perfect. Wish me luck here, Cutter. Me and technology ain't always the best of friends. Hey, all right, we're in business. Now swap over to your grapple and toss one of them pieces you separated right in there. Okay, we scrape. And we hit the F key to the gravity shove. That was heavy, so it did not shove very well. Want to try that again? Hmm. We sort of got there. Gonna go in. It's got a little gravity well of its own once you get past the um, the. The caution line so anything inside there will sort of drift slowly by itself into the into the thing you just gotta make sure you got it well okay we're almost done getting this bay in shape Let's go after that large aluminum chunk over there. Now this beast is way too heavy to move as is. It's also too dense for your stinger to break it down. Okay. And there are no structural cut points for us to take advantage of. I see that. We're going to have to switch over to the split saw mode of your cutting tool and start slicing this thing down to size. Go ahead and switch cut modes now. Uh, leads. Now try changing yeah, okay. the angle of the cut. We're in business. I've unlocked the trigger on your cutting tool. It'll split that big chunk clean in two. Go ahead and give her a whirl. I'm going to turn on your salvage indicator so you can track how much work is left to do. This thing will track close, how close. much you've salvaged and how much you've lost. For now, let's try and hit that first goal marker. And that's what it's all about, Cutter. The more salvage goals you complete, the closer you'll get to hitting your certifications and ranking up. And ranking up is good. I take it. You get stuff. Come on. Get in there. That aluminum too. Yeah, that's a little. That's a little aluminum. And you just sort of let that one bonk off the other. I'm gonna see if I can't uh, make uh. Oh, let's turn screen shake off. That's good. Um. Uh, window to full stream, vsync, enabled. Extra quality is as low as it goes, huh? Yeah. Uh, dynamic light range, low. We're off. We'll try off. Wish I could just kind of turn some of the particles off entirely. Some more aluminum scrap. Great first shift in the yard, Cutter. Not done. Let's head on over to your hab, and I'll show you the ropes there. Oh, hang on. Now fly on over back to the master jack. I'll put a marker on it so you can find it easy. When you get there, head on in, and we'll get started. Great first shift in the yard, Cutter. No, that's... Let's head on no, you said that already. And I'll show you the ropes there. Hey, we've... Now fly on over back to hey, the master Hey, we've read this one already. I'll put a marker on it so you can find it easy. When you get there, head on in, and we'll get started. Hey, we were you a robot? Like, it's cool if you are. I am, too. It's just that I'm, I'm worried about you. When, you. when you start repeating stuff like that, it makes me worried that maybe you need some maintenance you are getting. Uh, 
Uh, and shift and return to half, sure. Uh, Congrats, Cutter. You're already on your way up. Head on into your hab, and we'll check things out. Um, so how does Weaver sound? Is he a little too quiet? It looks like he's sort of barely coming into the yellow. Um, let's hit this button and shift. That'll get Weaver talking some. So you can actually check. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Oh. Okay, this used to be a static screen. That's interesting. Let's go to the terminal. Welcome to your new home, Cutter. Oh, that's definitely Have better. Everything you need. This is officially called a ready-made long-term employee habitation something or other. But around here, we just call it your ham. Now, how's about you get yourself some rest? And we'll pick up your training in the morning. Now sleep tight there, Cutter. Thanks, Space Dad. It's in the kitchen. Oh. Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. Apparently I ate myself to sleep. So that's good. Let's wake up. Good morning, Shipbreaker. Reminder, minimum payments are due by 10 a.m. Solar Standard Time each day, and failure to pay on time is considered a breach of contract. Thank you for your hard work and cooperation. Oh, minimum payments that I, yeah, that I make to you to pay off my 1,251,000. Uh, 1,251,000,000. Dollars and seventy-three cents. Um, that number go up or down? When they're that big, it's really difficult to tell. Rise and shine, Cutter. Hope you feel well rested. You ready to continue your training? Okay. Let's have a look at your employee terminal. Now let's get caught up on career progression and certification. All right. I've sent you a message with an explanation now. Come on and give it a read. I also saw Live Laugh Salvage. Um So I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the statement right now that occasionally I'm just gonna interrupt Weaver. As much as I like the 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 character of Weaver and the actor they got to do it. Like uh having like someone over your shoulder, like actually trying to watch out for you even a little bit in this terrifying atmosphere is, is very nice. Um, but I, this is... I, w I want to do talking, because I love this game, and I wish to talk about it. Uh, what do we have? Links.edu ramp. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm here to walk you through the process, and soon enough I'm going to introduce you to some of the other shipbreakers. Most of them are willing to help you out, too. The certification right, system is our proprietary career progression tool. To work on. The certification system is our proprietary career progression tool for all our shipbreakers. It provides each employee with a fulfilling and promising future as part of the Lynx family. Certification ranks range from 1 as the entry point all the way up to rank 30, which is reserved only for our most accomplished employees. It is advised to view the certification tab in your HAB terminal. terminal as a guide to gain access to more tools, upgrades, ships, and hazard levels, proving yourself as a loyal and skilled employee will reward you with fresh new challenges in the work bay. Good luck. All right. Uh, structure mode is pre-installed on every optical cross-spectrum scanner unit in the standard-issued Lynx work suit. This mode is a core part of the Shipbreaker Toolkit as it allows you to access... The structural makeup of a ship, clearly demarcating hull panels, structural beams, and important cut points. 
Structure mode is the default mode when you activate your scanner, unless you were previously using a different mode. Uh, financial relief program. Everything important and good in this world comes at a price. Each privileged person who joins our family to become a shipwrecker comes with significant costs. Fortunately, Link shoulders the burden of these costs temporarily in order to let you hit the ground running and begin training stress-free. I know that nothing makes me feel less stressed than knowing I'm under an over $1 billion debt. This cost sharing is handled through our innovative employee financial relief program. This program covers all essential onboarding costs and fees, including the cost of training and equipment borrowed from Link Salvage. Also included is the fees for the Everwork TM Asset Replacement Program, which enables safe, unlimited career progression and growth through the power of Link's technology. In return, as your skills and expertise grow, all the value that you earn as a shipbreaker will be automatically deducted from the amount you owe to the Financial Relief Program. This ensures the borrowed amount is paid off as quickly as possible so you can get on with building yourself a brighter future. Um, salvage goals, we sort of saw that. And this is telling us that we have a bunch of different kinds of ships that we can, uh, that we can cut up. I don't have anything particularly interesting with certification, huh? Yeah. Um... Oh, I can change these if I want. Or I can just fucking tear them down. That's good. Are these all the same? Yeah, I can probably, like, go further into debt to buy better posters. Can they all be live, laugh, salvage? I mean, yeah, I guess they can. Let's just, uh... Here we go. Uh, here's my workstation with my tools. I guess I can press T to start ship. I guess I can press T to start ship. I guess I can hold T to start ship. This is the catalog that shows you which ships you have access to from the shipyard. Right. Every day, you can choose to continue working on the ship you've got or start a fresh one. Go ahead and pick one, any one, and we'll get to work. Okay. We have the Celestial Scaldaferi Mark IX, the Corpulent Nilsen, the Western Wojtowicz, Pegasus I. So all of the goals are about the same, right? Yeah, the goal points are the same for each one. So presumably these are... the ship designs are a little bit different, but uh, it'll be about the same. Let's go with the Corpulent Nilsen, because I just really like the word Corpulent. I remember them using it in the Super Mario Brothers film. That's just kind of been stuck in my head forever. Corpulent Tony. Oh yeah, from The Simpsons. She's all yours, Cutter. Okay. Your primary goal is to reach rank three. Oh, it's it's pausing. It's hiccuping a little bit while it waits for the. Uh... Now try to remember, nanocarbon goes in the processor, aluminum yep. goes in the furnace. Here we go. Try to salvage the entire ship if you can. We call it using the whole buffalo. You'll hit your certs faster that way, and start knocking out that debt of yours. Man, I'll that... be observing and giving you any help if you need it. Good luck, Cutter. We wrap. So when we were doing the initial thing, I sort of thought that I might just go ahead and skip the training. And I'm glad I did because there's a lot of, like, new shit in here. Oh, okay, so this one's pretty empty. Yeah, oh, there's a thing over here. A credit drive? That cash money? 
Yeah, I just made 5,000 credits. That means absolutely nothing in a universe where I have a oh, billion dollar or so debt, but hey. I can probably get some good ramen that way. What's going on around here? Yeah, it's empty. I think I just need to hit the split points and cut it into tiny, tiny pieces. Okay, let's do that then. Um, let's start with the outer hull. So we just have these big, large, obvious cut points. And we do big, large, obvious cuts upon them. Uh, you can see at the bottom right there, we have the temperature of our cutter as we fire it, which goes up the longer we hold it down. And... If we hold it down for too long, it's going to start burning itself out. Um, when I was playing it, like, uh, a year or so ago by now, I guess, uh, it sort of burnt itself out a little bit all the time anyway, and you had to pay for, you had to pay for repairs. I think that's probably still a, a feature that's happening, but if you just sort of hold the button down and let it get out of control, it'll burn out real, real quick. Now, I know these ships look intimidating to scrap at first, but trust me, soon enough you'll be stripping the huge gecko-class freighters like they're nothing. Got my start salvaging back down Earth's side in the droid scrapping business. You know what's made me come up here? Well... One day we got a batch of this particular model in. One of them kinds with synthetic skin and everything. We almost never saw people looking ones like that. They were always too expensive to manufacture. Seems someone found a warehouse full of them. Mothballs for, oh, 20 years or so. Since the AI band took effect. Probably bought the whole lot for pennies, thinking they could turn a tidy profit with the salvage. No word of a lie. These things look exactly like my stepmother did. Even had the same slack jawed expression. <laughs> now, Jed and I wasn't exactly pals or nothing. All the same, I couldn't bring myself to start smashing that dopey face. And that's when I looked into getting on with Lynx. Tell you what, it's a sight better to cut up something that doesn't look like a family relation. Anyway, I'm running on. I'll clear the channel. Holler if there's anything giving you grief up there, Cutter. Weaver out. I guess Weaver also got a lot more lines, which is good. I'll tell you right now what's cool. And that's learning that your new best friend, uh, couldn't bear to destroy robots that looked like his shitty cousin. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Oh, let me tell you what else, uh, is cool, and that's this fucking soundtrack. It's really difficult to tell. Come on and come on and get in. It's really difficult to tell how loud the actual like individual sounds are. But it's uh like steel guitar and banjo which sort of all adds to the like object uh, kind of mining, uh, you know, paid in script, company store work, atmosphere. It's really nice. Um, can we get around into the cabin? No, we're gonna have to 
might cut it out from the other side, I think. Yeah, okay. Let's... Let's take off the bottom. Uh, so I am really happy to get the opportunity to show this game off again. Especially now that they've done uh, a whole bunch of work on it. I sort of... Um, they had like a really big update some time ago. And it was a big enough update to where they, like, it was a big enough update to where they said, hey, we understand this is a big update, and trust me, we have a lot more coming that's gonna, like, flesh out the world more, and, uh, like, show a bunch of interest in, uh, what's happening down on Earth. And I was like, oh, that's cool. But it does kind of just make me want to, like, not play it and wait for the 1.0 release. Um, which it's still not. This is, like, 7 point something. I could look it up, but I'm, I'm not going to. That's for boring people. Cool people just say things confidently with no backup. Oh, so you can see up at the top left there, um, as each of these things get processed. It's showing how much credit I get for my salvage. Uh, so... There's 14,000 credits off of my, again, billion dollar debt. Salvage gained. Credits awarded. Hooray. Let's take the top off, too. Let's have a... Let's have a woohoo... Let's have a woohoo party time to turn this into a topless shit. Um... Here are the angled ones, or the ones that keep the hot nails on. So I am just upside down now. Orienteering is a good skill. As you go through this, making sure you know what you're doing. Oh, this one goes to the furnace. Is it the whole thing that goes to the furnace? Yeah, like most of it, except this one piece that's nanocarbon. If I wanted to, I could probably, like, cut that off. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Um, B changes that, and then I really like about this that we can see our line, precisely where the cut's gonna go. We just need to slide in a little bit closer. Oop, well, that didn't quite go how I intended. But of course, that was what was going to happen. Just a nice little angle on here. Then QE to break myself in place. And there's the nano carbon all by itself. So we throw that in the nano carbon hole. And. Both of these other pieces go into the aluminum. Um, what happened to the other half? Did it get away from me? Material deposited. Yeah, that's what it got away from me. Oh, there it is. Come here, you. I'm just gonna reel it in. Nice and easy. Because if I reel it in too hard, it's gonna... Come in real quick and absolutely fucking dome me. Here we go.
and shift. Oh, that had a nail in a carpet. No, uh, no, that's fine, actually. Because the panel is nanocarbon also. The panel doesn't need to go into the carpet. That's, that's nanocarbon all the way down. I don't have to fuck with it. Um, oh, okay, here's the hole so I can get into the other side. <laughs> Thank you, Badro, that's exactly it. You load 16 megatons, what do you get? Um, if you're lucky, you get out of the way before the reactor blows. And deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, because I can't go. Because I'm a clone, and I think I don't have a soul. Trying to pop these at a distance. Because they can look a little uh, flashy. If you put them like very close, and I don't want that to be the audiovisual experience we're having today. There we go, wonderful. Um, I can just push this out of the way, huh? I'm just gonna move this with my my whole entire meat body. Hang on, there it is. Actually, I guess I'm not using the meat body so much. What I'm using is the jet, it's like. Yeah, why do I have to be in peak physical condition to be doing this? It's the, the jets that are doing all the work. That's all nanocarbon, right? Yeah, that's all nanocarbon. And now we take this down here. Let that run. Let this move a little bit closer. And on the other side, just eight ball, pop, shove it into the into the processor. And there's that last one, and that's most of the outer shell. Processing valuable objects. So, it's probably because this is the tutorial ship, but we don't have an oxygen here. There used to be oxygen that you had to contend with, which kept you from just, like, staying out the whole time. It was like, about a 15 minute uh, timer on top of everything else. You had to go refill it, which also cost money. You know what ain't free? Air. You know how far we have to pump it to get it up here? You got a whole space elevator just for that. Let the temp cool down on that. Oh no, bad road. You said Perrier. I don't like that. I don't like the idea of uh, designer air. That sucks. Is this frame its own piece? This frame is its own piece. So I'm just gonna take it out. Hey, check it out. I'm Yuffie. Woosh, 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 woosh. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. Blame Mel Brooks. It's his joke. Ooh. Okay. Thank you. I will. What is that from? Because I know a lot of Mel Brooks movies and whatever that's from isn't coming to me. 
Right, space balls. Obviously it would be space balls. I don't know why I thought otherwise. Um, let's look at the thing then. Yeah, this whole back piece, well, except those. Are those cut points? Yeah, those are cut points. Oh, it's cut points for the, uh, yeah, the thruster cap. So we can pull the cap off. There's not an engine inside it for, for to actually make it thrust, but... Grab that and take it into there. And we're just gonna slowly move around to the back side and break and pull this this way with us so we can throw it in the processor make really sure that it gets far enough away from the furnace. They don't like it when you put a giant piece of nanocarbon in the furnace. And... There we go. Perfect. Creamy. Delicious. Uh, how the fuck are we meant to deal with this? This big nose. Glass goes into the furnace, I guess. Nanocarbon sounds like it would burn pretty good. Yeah, that's why they don't like you doing it. Because <laughs> there's not really getting it back. Valuable object process. Credits deposited. Ship salvaged in full. Credits applied. Um, hmm. Uh, well, we can cut it off from... Yeah, yeah. So we can use the cutter to disconnect the... The bridge from the cabin. that right? We can just shove this now. Yeah. So that's separated. So this is all just one big chunk of aluminum, I think. Oh, except for the... Ah, it's saying there's some nanocarbon down at the bottom. What is that? Oh, it's these little... It's these little structural pieces. No, it's saying that's aluminum too, so I can just sh shove all of that into the furnace. And I will. You can't stop me. Let's uh, chop it up a little bit to make it easier though. We'll just come up this way, cut it into nice clean thirds right along the right along the line. Just gotta angle it. Now, well, that's not quite what I wanted. Hang on, let's get it this side. Actually, let's just cut it over here so we don't have to deal with that bit in the middle. That's fine. It's going to cause, like, a little bit of spare cruft. But that's, you know, fine. We can deal with that. Is cruft a word? I think cruft's a word. I also think it means what I am trying to make it mean. And I think 
that makes that freestanding? No? No, it sure doesn't. What am I missing? Ah, it's still connected right there. I know on TV tropes, word cruft refers to superfluous verbiage. So I assume cruft is a word that means extra stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's about what I'm trying to make it mean. And it didn't happen anyway. I thought the place where I cut it the first time was gonna be in there. Yelling in there. I thought the place where I cut it the first time was gonna end up being separate off by itself, but that's not what that's not what went down. Can I just drag this? Yeah, I can just drag that. No, come on. Get over there. Hang on, I can trick shot this. Yep, just use my pusher. And just give it a couple nice big shoves. Puts it right in the right in the money pool. Um What up what parts of this don't go into the furnace? Is it just the the parts on top and bottom there? Furnace, processor, furnace. Furnace, 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 furnace. Oh no, it's the whole front of the hole too. Um you know what? I got to my level 3 point. It said salvaged in full. I feel good about that. I'm just gonna call it a day. I don't feel like spending my time doing that amount of cuts right now. I'm just gonna head back to our, to our little hab away from home and I'm gonna... Go back to bed, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so for hitting our goals, I guess we got 4, 8, and 20 Lynx tokens. Or maybe that's 4, and then another 4 to make 8, and then another 12 to make 20. It is unclear. Uh, but we have 232 entirely. And one repair kit. That's good, free repair kit. I was just saying, our stuff breaks. And for salvaging that ship, we got uh, 770, uh, $707,188.67 off of our debt. So, you know, we're moving numbers down. New certification level attained. Hooray. License level increased. So, we have bigger ships we can access now, I think. Let's move on. Hello, ship breaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Have a good day. Okay. Reminder, minimum payments are due by 10 a.m. Solar Standard Time each day. Failure to pay on time is considered a breach of contract. Thank you for your hard work and cooperation. Great. Looking good, Cutter. Now go ahead and pick another ship. Um, we'll do that in just a minute. I want to... Well, first of all, I want to do this. Oh, this is the only poster I have access. Okay. Um, 
I can just go back to bed. Cool, just like 17,000 more ships and we break even. Yeah, right? That only took us like two hours. Well, it took us a whole day, technically. Um, so it is earlier than we usually take the break, but this is a good time for a break before we start a new ship. Um, so before we go to the BRB, um, let's take this opportunity to remind that Black Lives Matter, that Indigenous lives and lands matter, and that the lives of people of color matter, and that protests continue in this country uh, as uh, violence against black bodies has not stopped even a little bit, um, and that there are things that you can do to be of use. Uh, we have some links that we would like for you to look at under the donate command, which I have just put in caps because I left my caps lock on. Uh, our organizations that are helping people on the ground right now, the Bail Fund Network, helping to keep protesters out of jail, the Ochre Project and Black Trans Travel Fund, uh, which gets food and transportation out of dangerous situations to black trans and non-binary people, and the Black Hills Legal Fund, one of several land back movements, this for the uh, Lakota people who are working to take back their land, which in, uh, in English translates to six grandfathers. I should look up what it's called in Lakota. I will do that before next week. Uh, and uh, which Americans stole renamed arbitrarily to Mount Rushmore uh, and blasted white dudes' faces into the side of it with dynamite. Uh, this is, as I said, one of several land back movements, uh, so if you wish to be a little more local in your giving, uh, do a little bit of research. Every single inch of this land was stolen, and I am certain you will find something closer to you. Uh, the other command we have is action. These are some things that you can do to be of use right now. The uh, petitions you can sign, letters you can send to your uh, lawmakers. Uh, we have uh, also the ACLU Racism and Policing Correspondence course, which I very much recommend. Um, and we think that these are good starting points, but do your own research. Uh, find some way to give your time and your energy to the civil rights movement because creating a better world is only possible if it's for everyone. And if we let people fall by the wayside to try and create a better world out of whatever we can scrape together, then it's not any better. It's the same bullshit with a new coat of paint. Uh, building that better world is everybody's responsibility. It's everybody's fight. And we should battle white supremacy wherever we find it. Globally, locally, and within ourselves. Uh, we're going to go to the BRB screen right now. I'm going to stand up, stretch my legs, get some water. I suggest you do whatever self-care is important to you. I'm going to eat the other half of this Reese's cup tree that I got out of the freezer. I started eating it before we went live. I just sort of forgot about it. Um, do whatever self-care is important to you, and we're going to run an ad break. We have no stance on you blocking those ads, and we'll catch you back here in three to five minutes. Please join us then. I keep remembering that I don't need to lower my micro my headset microphone when I'm streaming anymore because we got the blue snowball set up with the mic arm in front of me, which is a much nicer solution. I, I enjoy it very much. Uh, it's just weird to get used to a new thing. Uh, let's. Click a button so that you can see what I'm seeing. There we go. And we can look here at our equipment. We can get stickers. 
Oh, these are like achievements stickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once we incinerate 250 kilograms of aluminum, we get an aluminum sticker that we can put on our on our cutter. So that's nice. I feel like I've unlocked some of these before. But nothing appears to be... I, I lost my whole setup, so that makes sense. Can't do anything with my suit. Alright, let's just start our next shift. Oh, this is the corpulent Nilsen still. We can go back and, like finish up the little bit I had for it, but I, I don't want to. Let's move on to a new thing. Uh, we have the Debonair Chiong, whose hazard level is 2. The Celestial Scaldafari, the Trench and Eagle. Oh, these are the other three that we had access to um, and now don't. Let's take one of the new ones. They have hazards. That's a good, right? Means we get hazard pay? Uh, claiming a new ship will clear the salvage bay of your existing ship. All remaining salvage will be forfeits and links. Yeah, that's... I don't want to fuck around with the cockpit. It's, it's so much work. Hi. Hold up a second there, Cutter. Okay. Because you've increased your rank, we're going to give you the next greatest ship. Okay. Now this one will be full of machinery, electronics, furniture, all stuff that Lynx can collect and resell. You're going to want to toss those items on the barge. That's the uh, big green thing below you. Go ahead and have a look. Toss any valuable objects or components down there. And don't worry about breaking anything. There's a dampening field that'll catch everything. It works great. Most of the time. Let's give it a go. Hey, right, cool. The ship? Pressurized? It looks like it's pressurized. Oh, here's this exterior stuff that I can just sort of get rid of. Let's work on that. Yeah, just these sort of, like, safety roll cages. I don't know who they're fooling. Like, if they run into something out in space, it's gonna be, you know an asteroid or something that's big enough to just completely trash the whole ship, but, you know. I guess it makes the passengers feel better. Maybe there's some sort of uh, insurance concern. Ooh, that's flammable. Good, I'm glad I noticed the flammable thing. Um, is that a cut point? That's a grade 2 cut point. I don't... Yeah, okay. I can just get rid of that. Good. I was a little worried that it was going to ricochet, like my laser was going to ricochet off and hit the fuel tank that I'm still right next to. Let's change that. There's probably another one, like, in exactly the same place on this side, huh? No, oh, no. Alright then. Uh. So, hey, while I'm just sort of uh, taking this poor wee baby apart. Oh, the fuel canister's on there, huh? Yeah, that goes down to the barge. Yep, here we go. And just ship it down to the planet. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. So, while I'm sort of doing this work, 
Uh, I finished watching Restaurant to Another World uh, over the weekend, season two. And I like that show very much. The, the second season was considerably better than the first. Um, if you're not familiar with it, Restaurant to Another World is about this, like, regular-ass cafe in Japan. That for some fucking reason, every Saturday, uh, has a whole bunch of doors that open onto it in a sort of fantasy other world. And the show is about people from the fantasy other world, like finding the doors and coming in and learning about uh learning about delicious food and i sort of found it at random the first season while i was just looking for stuff to watch on crunchyroll get in there valuable object process credits awarded but I liked it a lot. It is... It's just nice. Like, it has very, very repetitive, but very pleasant music. And... Everyone... Like, everyone talks weird. Not just because they're from, like, a fantasy universe, but because, like, everyone in this fantasy universe where they had, like, apparently never heard of, like, roasting a thing. Or, uh, marinating. Still, like... They still, whenever they t take a bite of the, the wonderful food from, from our world, have the culinary wherewithal to, like, go, oh, the sourness of the cheese blends so well with this smooth cream. This is the most delicious thing I have put in my mouth. Like, every everyone talks like a professional food critic, even people whose literal actual job it is to uh, hunt goblins in the muck. And that's just sort of something you have to deal with. Because that's what the show is. But it's fun. It's nice. It They, at the end of the, like, second season, like, say out loud the thing that I had presumed was their thesis statement for a while. Uh, which is that, hey, everyone, look at all of these people here. All of these people from the different fantasy world countries who are having problems with each other. But here, they're all just equals, and everyone refers to each other by the name of the food that they like the most. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Because we all have to eat, and we all have to, like, think about the fact that we all have to eat. Uh, but it says maybe they're from Log Horizon, they don't know food tastes better if you actually cook it rather than make it in the crafting interface. I've never seen Log Horizon. That sounds wild. My, my... Because of the experiences I've had in my life, my brain immediately threw up. Is that like a sword art online? Because that sounds like a sword art online. Credits transferred. This all furnace? Ooh, that's really hard to tell, actually. Uh, let's just pull it out. Mm, yeah, that's just a furnace panel. We just sent that. Oh, no, wait, come back here. No, 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 come here. Uh, uh oh, it's heading right for us. I was trying to get that light fixture off. Last work. Got that pretty quickly. Now, let me teach you about the kiosk. 
Once the training wheels come off, Link's regulations mean you got to cover your own oxygen and fuel cost. That's the way things go. Turning it on now. I don't like that. Now, no need to panic. They'll last you a good while. But if you end up running out, you got to go top up at the kiosk over there. Let's have a look. I mean, I'm in the middle of doing this whole thing, but okay. It's basically a Sword Art Online Log Horizon, except part of the plot is that the game world is gradually becoming more and more real. That sounds interesting. Kind of like, um... Hey, here's the second time I've referenced Super Mario Brothers the movie. How they're trying to combine the two worlds together. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Okay. So, I don't need oxygen or fuel. There's tethers, which I don't think I have access to. A demo charge pack, which I don't think I can use. Repair kits. And the patch kits. Patch kit is for the suit. Repair kit is for the tools and equipment. Okay. Oh. Have a nice good stuff, Coder. Okay. Pretty easy, right? Alright. I'll leave you to it. We'll chat again when you hit the next rank. Weave her out. I don't know. I tend to not like deep dive. Like. Deep Dive MMO series. I sort of enjoyed the first season of Sword Art Online at the time, but, like, going back to it was not... ended up not being great. Come here, you entire spanner. Get down there. I want that... I want this crate. You're all full of delicious goodies. I'm just gonna have a good time investigating you. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Log Horizon was a significantly unique take on the genre that I'd recommend it. Alright. I might give it a shot if it's on something I have access to. Is it on like Crunchyroll? Or I guess we have Netflix here at the house. Oh, um, am I supposed to flush these? No, there's not a switch on them, I don't think. I just need to significantly release the space. Well, let's let's do that then. Let's uh no, actually, let's do it this way. Let's cut the bottom out of this first. So that we can just sort of send stuff down to the barge. Go like that. Just no, shove it with the shove it with the body. Uh, I've been watching it on Hulu. It might be on Crunchyroll. I'll I'll investigate that. There we go. Managed to get it out. That's nanocarbon, so we can just throw that directly into the. Oop. Well, well, it did hit the turbine. It did hit the engine turbine. So that's not ideal. There it is. And we can just pull this down, right? Yeah, there it is. I think this is the one that has the... Yeah, this little tank on it. Let's let it get a little bit further down. So that I don't have to worry about fuel tank hit something else. They will explode if you, like, accidentally bash them on something. 
or like God forbid, B. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Or God forbid, like hit it with a laser. Oh, no, 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 no. Trying to get away from me. Do I have tethers yet? No, I think I don't get those till later. That's a shame. Tethers are great. Tethers are what we saw the, um... Uh, in that opening cutscene where the, uh, the shipbreaker was taking the panels off the side of the, uh, off the side of the ship. They just tethered them all together and then, like, shipped them over as one big thing. It makes the work go so much faster. Especially for the, like, really big, um, really big pieces. So the stuff you're chucking into the atmosphere, is it worthless? Well, I'm trying not to let anything go into the atmosphere. Um, so there's things like this, the fuel tank. Which I am moving very slowly. Uh, and we're sending that down here to the barge, and it's getting stuck when it's on the barge. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. And... I need you to head back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your rope too. Stat. We wrap. Oh, okay. I am low on oxygen. So there's stuff like uh, seats and fuel tanks and lighting fixtures that can go onto the barge and be uh, and be usefully resold as is. Whereas the big uh, panels of aluminum and nanocarbon are uh, being sent to their various processors to... Thank you for your purchase. Yeah. Oxygen level stabilizing. Uh, being sent in their respective processors to be melted down and presumably reshaped into... Oh, I don't know, more ships? Killer robots. Uh, more tools. Not really clear. Oh, I just pulled that whole thing off. Huh? There you go. Processing valuable object. Credit awarded. Great. So now that we have the underbelly exposed, I grab you. So there are certain things like this, like this tunnel of wire here, which, yeah, a game doesn't, like, really want you to interact with. You can bump it around a little bit if you want, but... Most things, uh, have some sort of value. Like, for instance, your tools and your air. You can tell because they make you pay for them. Or they pay you for getting them. Okay. So is this another frame that I can just pull out? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Look at that, that's beautiful. That all processor? That's all processor. Ow! Hit something. Hit something with the side of my head. While floating through space at an angle, it is fine. Ah, I see. Just, uh... Send that down. I don't think there's another one. Nah, this is a big empty panel now. That should move fast. Yeah, there it is. Oh, the uh, the bigger frame didn't quite get there. No, don't don't attach to the wall. Attach to the thing. Object accepted for processing. There we go. 
Um, yeah, so if we just can take this other fuel tank out, I think that's going to be most of the hazardous stuff done. Does have an engine? I don't think this has an engine. It does. I think they've pre-removed this engine. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. No, nah, it's still got the thruster cap. There's no thruster for it. So... Just pull off some random crap. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. And start taking the Start taking the shell off, I guess. Like a teenage mutant ninja turtle. Off of their shells. Am I right? Gamers and turtle lovers. Katie's giving me a thumbs up from across the house. Swing this way. Little, uh, yeah. I really wish I could get the range up for this cutter. And I will be able to someday. But right now, I'm Still having to be pretty close. And I think these four pieces uh, are what's holding the airlock bay in place, so... Yeah, that took that off. You heard, it, you heard it clunk. I heard it clunk. We all heard it clunk. Yeah. Oh, come on. Get out of there. I do like... Was Clunk a Kremlin? I think so. Make your way back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your own two. Oh. Blue Rain is coast. Trust me on this one. Weaver out. You know what? Weaver blue is literally my color. It's in, like, basically all of my branding. And is also the, uh, the color my main chassis is. I get you're making a fun joke about, you know, how I might suffocate to death out here in the cold fastness of space. Warning. Oxygen reserves are critical. Thank you. I know oxygen reserves are critical. I'm trying to get there. Welcome to Metatron 9000. Thank you for your... Oxygen level stabilizing. How much is that oxygen a shot? I forgot to look. It's probably a lot, right? They probably make you pay a lot for the uh, for the pleasure of not dying out in the middle of space. Which is a real shit of a catch twenty two, right? Because if you don't pay for the uh, the outrageous fees for the oxygen to not die in the inky blackness of space. Then you die in the inky blackness of space, and then you have to pay the fucking fees to get, like, genetically resurrected, which are even worse. Fucking corpos, man. Yeah, exactly. It's less than a clone, but god dang. Get on in there. Uh, that all processor bit? Yeah, that's all processor bit. Valuable object process. Credits deposited. Yeah, it is still the. Oh, okay. So that's why that's. 
that's why that feels weird. It's because there's cut points in here that are supposed to separate the the shell. Hang on. Let's get a little closer. Oh yeah, that's so much easier. Look at that bastard fly. <laughs> Grab this and processing valuable object. Credits awarded. There we go. Wonderful. So sometimes, if you're lucky, when you're going through uh, a fully salvage game. Oh, hey. When you're going through a uh, fully kitted out ship like this, you can find like repair kits for your for your stuff. Oh, the airlock goes down to the barge, huh? All right. Uh, you can find repair kits for your equipment or oxygen so that you don't die in the inky void of space. Um, is that it? There's really only one weld holding on this huge fucking chunk of ship. The part that burns really hot so that it can fly. Okay. Seems like a... Seems like a bad plan to me. Just gonna... Give it a bit of a shove. It'll get down there in its own time. Let's go ahead and take the other one off since we're down here. Exactly, this is what happens when you go with the lowest bidder. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Like, I'm not here to talk about, like, space engineers in space. I'm sure the... I'm sure some very, very, uh, well-thought-of engineers designed the mackerel. All I'm saying is, maybe you need two? I would have two. Cut points. I would have two, like, big welds that keep the the thing from becoming murderous. Oh, I like that so much. So when I was playing previously, um, this was basically a flat expanse where the things would hit the, the top layer there and then just stick. And now it's this two-layer thing where they'll hit the top and then slowly sink down to the bottom one. And that's so much better because I cannot tell you the number of times I've had a fuel cell explode on me or something because I accidentally hit it with something else I was sending down to the barge. That is a nice improvement. Let me get in here. Again, I think this is all nanocarbon. Oh, no, hang on. Need that. Push it. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit And now we push you into the thing. Go over there. My oxygen's getting low again. So this is again a thing where I wonder if it was a uh Uh, if this was a thing that the... That'll come into play later. Oxygen level stabilizing. Uh, but the last time I played on stream, it was in... Uh, you were only allowed to, like, cut. Uh, you were only allowed to take jobs in, like, 15-minute shifts. 
which is why, like, coming back to the same ship over and over, like, made sense. Because you had, like, 15 minutes, and you got a pretty good chunk done, you, you know, if you knew what you were about, you could get a pretty good lump of shit taken apart in 15 minutes. But probably not all of it, so you'd have to go back and repair your equipment and stuff. And then come back out for another 15 minute shift. That doesn't appear to be a thing anymore. I wonder if it's just because they've, uh, they're have they waiting to... Ooh, okay. <laughs> I wonder if they're just waiting to introduce that idea. The same way that it took them a while to uh, say, Oh, by the way, you need to uh, buy your own oxygen. Because I quite liked that aspect. It gave you a, a nice natural stopping point. Which is... Uh, which is something that I find very useful because if I, I like just getting into the swing of something... I'll get into a zone, and then I will just continue doing it until I'm interrupted. Having that 15-minute timer really uh, Salvage secured. stopped me from just sitting and doing nothing but that for, like, hours upon hours. I sometimes did anyway for fun, but... Like it was always a little fresh. It's like, okay, well now, now there's a t now here's the time to stop and go get some water, go to the bathroom, or twist the upper part of your body so that your your ribs don't hurt anymore. Which is important. I like having ribs, and I like them to not hurt. Let's take off all of the pictures on this real quick. Processing valuable object. Credit award. Before I do Credit anything else. Accepted. Credit transferred. Get out of your wire. No one likes you. You're not even worth anything. Secured. Account credit applied. Um, is that all of them? Nah, there's one right back there. Come here. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Why are not worth anything? Truly, this is the future. I was wondering what that was, and uh, apparently the game doesn't want me to know. There's some storage bins. That's good. I was kind of hoping there'd be a data tape. Um, in some of the ships, I presume they haven't gotten rid of this feature. It would be wild if they had. Um, in some of the ships, you can find little audio logs that give you some idea of what the ship was doing before it uh, became salvageable. None of them really are huge, or weren't, uh, like huge earth-shattering revelations or anything. They were just little looks into the private lives of people, and from there you could kind of extrapolate how how stuff was going and what the the world that surrounds this game is like which I quite liked uh, when I was playing it they were mostly voiced by uh, like a text to speech program because they just didn't have the time or money to hire voice actors. They were still really cute little, uh, little vignettes. They were fun little Ving Rameses. We have problems with people stripping copper wiring from occupied fucking houses here. Yeah. Warning. Your 
your oxygen reserves are dropping below statistically profitable levels. Statistically profitable, huh? I'm pretty sure I just got oxygen. Like, not long ago. Is it fulfilling my oxygen, like, completely when I get a refill, or is it only doing a little bit? Yeah, I know. I know I'm getting there. Chill out. Oxygen reserves are critical. Please contact your plan administrator to have asphyxiation coverage. Okay. I still didn't look at how much that was. Completely forgot about it. Uh, I was kind of too busy trying to not be... Uh... Dead. I was trying to not be dead. Just gonna give that a few good little punches and send it off. There we go. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. It's another nano carbon panel, yeah. So this is uh we're sort of winding down. This is what the game is. It's a... Uh, it's a nice little task-based simulator of the kind I like. And it does a pretty good job with its world-building and characterization, and I like that a lot. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. And they've been working on it a lot. And they've used the, the work they've done to make some really interesting uh, ideas happen. Good improvements. We're gonna... Um, we're gonna leave the cockpit like we did last time, because I still don't want to fuck with the cockpit. They're a, they're an absolute son of a fuck to tear apart. Um, but we're gonna finish uh, tearing up this this last long piece, and then I'll call the stream, which will, which will probably be a little bit early, but yeah, that's. Fine. Oh hey, there's a uh, radio antennas back here. Come on. That one on the other side too. Account credit applied. There sure are. Asymmetrical. Gotta love the future. When we've all realized that symmetry is for nerds. And while it has its place, it doesn't have to be in literally every fucking thing. I take all that out? I think I took all that out. I think you can just, yeah, shift that by itself. I mean, a bit. It's really heavy. Yeah, I'm right-clicking like that's gonna do anything, but I don't have access to the... to the things yet. So we're just gonna shove this out a little bit. Because otherwise, these pokey outy bits that the fuel cells were hanging off of are gonna get caught on the frame. I don't want that. That's a lot. Oh damn, this started jamming, huh? Oh no, that's gonna get caught on the thing, isn't it? That's the exact thing I told it to not do. Oh, nope, we cleared it. It's fine.
Just gently guiding the processor. There we go. We'll let nature take its course from there. I think all the rest of this goes into the furnace. Yeah, except the lights, because those are salvageable. I do like um, the goal system. That's new from when I was playing previously. I like that it has like a space where you can go. Yeah, you're you can be done now. If you want to, you can sit around and like tear the whole ship apart and like get maximum value off of it. But you have these three reward spaces and once you get to the third one you can safely like presume you got a lot of value off of this I just wanted to get that last one off before I went for before I went to go refuel my oxygen which should be the last one of those Ow. Okay. Overshot it a little bit. Oxygen reserves are critical. Please contact your plan administrator to add asphyxiation cover. Uh, 8,000. Have a nice day. So... That's a lot. I mean, the last ship I took apart was like, what, 700,000 and change? So... It's not digging too deeply into my profits. It is just galling to have to pay for my own oxygen to not die in the cold void of space. You know, I talked a lot of shit about my tiny, empty apartment on Earth, but... Oh, maybe I didn't really need anything but, like... Good ramen and bad TV. Maybe that, you know, in a way, was a lot more fulfilling than, you know, possibly dying in the inky blackness of space. There we go. Um, I guess we can get this stuff out of here and then just leave the rest of it. Out. Because this is all barge work. Just gotta make sure not to bash it into the sides of the door when I'm pulling it out. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Because if it's electrical and it smashes into something, it will explode into a bunch of electrics. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Which isn't really good for your, your health or the health of your suits. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. We're almost done here. Just gonna... Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Yeah, like each of these storage bins is worth twenty four thousand, so that's paying for my that's paying for my uh, my oxygen like straight away. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. I suppose I could just. I suppose I could just, like, 
cut all the nanocarbon off of this? No, no, I cannot. It does not want me to cut the nanocarbon. That makes sense. All right, we're going to be done. Warning, fuel levels are low. Um, that said my fuel levels were low like a lot sooner too. I wonder if I run out of air quicker the longer I'm out here. I suppose that would make sense. We're just gonna slide right back into our tab module and see what tomorrow brings us. Then we'll call the stream. Stream? We'll call the stream, but Oh, I destroyed a door, apparently. Yeah, well. Just shy of my next level. Cutter 9346-52. Your sleep period is now over. Have a great day. Yeah, sure. New message received. The mackerel heavy cargo has been accessed. A robust model. Built to transport heavy industrial goods or hazardous materials. Grapple strength can be upgraded to improve handling of its heavier structural elements. On behalf of my former colleague Grenda, we apologize for misstating the fuel efficiency of this model. In fact, it is positively adequate for the transport needs of many companies. Ed Hollett, a senior marketing associate of Kleinco. Fun. Oh, new hazard. Fire. Lynx is committed to ensuring ship breakers are exposed to hazard levels in ships only according to their proficiency level and medium estimated emotional adjustment time should death occur related to these hazards. If you have reached clearance for hazard level 2, you may begin to encounter fire hazards in the form of fuel or flaming objects. Causing Lynx equipment or salvage goods to be damaged by fire hazards will result, in, will result in credit deductions, as will damage to or destruction of your Lynx spare team. Which I guess is what they're calling my clones. That I am. Um, well our salvage did outwear our fees, so that's good. Uh, there is an interest on it. Uh, I forget who asked that. It was some time ago, and it's not on the screen anymore. But yeah, there is a 0.01% interest, which is really high for an interest like this big. And also, we have to we lease our HAP module. Uh, I'm sorry, we rent our HAP module. We lease the bay that we work in. We rent our cutting and grapple tools. It costs money to transport the salvage. I hope that's annual. Nah, these are daily fees. We did make, like, a million dollars off of that salvage ship. Um, but our total fees were, like, 500,000? So, you know, swings and roundabouts, strikes and gutters, ups and downs. New sticker unlocked. View more on your sticker app. Safety third, apparently. <laughs> Ever forward, never learning, safety third. Um, can I equip my equipment? Can I level up my equipment? I cannot. I can put stickers on my equipment. This one just says, don't. So that's good. Ah, here we go. We can place that sticker right... right there. Right there. Yeah. Now we're styling. I think I know why they asked if you'd ever belong to a union. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, so that's going to be the stream. I guess I'll, can I exit from here? Yeah, I can save it, but let's save it, but. Let's uh, quit that also. Come on, let's go. Uh, so this has been the stream. Let me go to the outro also. There we go. That's been the stream. Thank y'all so much for joining me. Um, this has been Hard Space Shipbreaker, and I've been Christy. One of five women who stream on this channel, along with uh, my wife Katie, and her sisters Annie and Alice and Sue. We stream six days a week, so if you want to interact with the follow button in a way that interests you, we uh, you can be notified when we go live uh, and see all the cool stuff we're doing. Let's uh, let's bring up the schedule real quick and do a quick once over schedule at schedule.truck.community, uh, where you can find not just us streaming our streaming schedule, but the schedule of our entire team. Uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, Annie will be playing Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, weather permitting. Uh, our, our internet has been better in big chunks, but then it keeps kicking out every now and again. We don't know why, and the woman we're speaking to at, uh, like, corporate headquarters also doesn't know why. But now we have someone in corporate who's just as mad about it as we are, so that's nice. Because, uh, apparently, uh, when she and Katie spoke today, she, uh, Pam, the person we're speaking to at Cox, literally said, I don't know what the hell's going on over there. Which is, which is comforting to hear. It's not just us. Uh, on Wednesday, over on twitch.tv slash badroad, before our streams, badroad will be playing more Legacy of Cain Defiance, as Cain, uh, really just sort of continues to be a shithead. Like, he's better, but it's he's still Kane, unfortunately. Despite everything, he's still Kane. And uh, at our usual time, Sue will be starting a new game. I have TBD down here because she, she, she said she might be... I, I maybe shouldn't say she's starting a new thing. She said she might be taking a break from Neo 2, um, but I don't know what she would be playing... Otherwise, do we know that thing? I'm getting a shrug. So yeah, TBD. Zoo will be playing a video game, most likely. It'll be fun, because she is good at playing video games. Come and watch her do that thing. Uh, on Thursday, Alice and Mox will be playing more Spirit Fair. Friday, Katie will be playing There Is No Game Wrong Dimension, the expanded sort of sequel side cool to There Is No Game, which she played back in the old, uh, Press Any Key days. It's been two years. That's sort of wild to think about. Uh, on Saturday, we don't stream, but someone over at twitch.tv slash xenonfiber will be playing Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, uh, as, Vin as Ventus, like, pushes his way through the Disney Channel verse? Or is he done with that now? Uh, fuck. All, all I remember is like looking up at the screen uh, last week and seeing like a bunch of button prompts happen. Oh, Ventus is doing him right now. Okay. Good. So come watch that. Or go watch that. Come and go to watch that. Uh, Sunday's our wildcard stream. We don't know what we'll be playing for that. We never do. We figure it out on the day, and it'll be, uh, probably me and someone else and a bunch of, uh, someone else from the channel and then a bunch of our community. We'll see what we feel like. And then looping back around to Monday, if you go over to twitch.tv slash andemonium, Andy will be playing more Deliver Us the Moon, which, uh, he started the last... I, I, I said, I, my brain wanted to say this week, which is accurate, but it was like four hours ago. Like, calm the fuck down. Um, that game's really cool. Um, I, I, I sort of was like looking at it cynically when it started, because it felt a lot like 
if someone wanted to make uh, Tacoma be less gay, uh, but no, it's its 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 own like thing, and it's really interesting. It's a whole bunch of different uh, types of gameplay smashed together, sometimes to its detriment, um, but it, it's interesting in that it keeps every individual piece fresh. Uh, and then coming back around to me, I don't know what I'll be playing just yet. I haven't really thought about it. Um, I'll, I'll update the schedule with it before I stream, presumably. Uh, yeah, and that's that's all of that. Um, I said a bunch of names in there. Uh, you can indeed follow us, but if you wish to follow some other people as well, there's our stream team, uh, twitch.tv slash andemonium, xenonfiber, badroad, and Rizplays games. Wonderful streamers worthy of your time and attention. And if you want to just see more of us, we have a YouTube at youtube.truck.community where you can see everything we've done for the... Not everything we've done. Some of the stuff is missing. And there's like a big chunk where we sort of uh, weren't getting the things up. Uh, but most of the stuff we've done for the last five years because we've been doing this five years. Five Gregorian years. And it's been a lot of fun, and we hope we get to keep continue doing it uh, forever, basically. I, I love this. I love this. Um, so that's all of that. Is that everything I need to say to you? Uh, the music you're hearing is Clock Tower. I haven't said this in a while. The music you're hearing is Clock Tower uh, by Xenon Fiber. You can find that uh, at xenonfiber.bandcamp.com. It's off of uh, their album Spaced Off. Which is a great album. There's a, a bunch of other music on there that you should look at. Please do that. Uh, that's everything. So, I'm gonna go to fucking bed. Uh, until I see you next time, please stay safe.